guys, so this is my Neutrogena Moisturizer. It's in sensitive skin and I'm just putting this all over my face and I really like this moisturizer because it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily throughout the day. So I highly suggest this moisturizer if you need a new one. It's a little blurry but my foundation is the Marcel um, Matte Finish Foundation and I actually got this from Rexall for like $4, not even. And I'm just putting this on top of a flat top kabuki and blending it in and yeah, I got a little bit on my shirt, whoops. But um, I really like this because I feel like I don't really need to use a concealer because it basically conceals everything that I need as a foundation. So I really, really like this product and it works amazing for you because it's mattifying. And again, my skin doesn't feel oily throughout the day. Now I'm just putting on my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and I absolutely love this powder. It, again, it's very mattifying. I really like mattifying things even though it is winter time. I find that my skin gets a little bit oily. Um, so yeah, I really like this powder and my top of my foundation was open so I close that and making more faces of course. Here I am just taking my New York Color Bronzer in Sunny and it's a matte bronzer and I'm just putting that all over my face. And now I'm just grabbing my What's Up highlighter from Benefit which is a gold tone highlighter and I figured that because it was sunny out on Sunday that putting a highlighter on would be a good idea. And now I'm just putting on my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Doll Face which I love because it gives you a really natural flush. And of course, I'm using a primer on my eyelids, and this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And now I'm just taking a pigment by NYX, and I'm using that as my eyeshadow, and it's just a really pretty shampoo, silvery, white color I guess I don't know and I'm just putting that all over my eyes as a nice natural flush and yeah I'm making some kind of weird faces I don't know I tend to do that in the camera a lot and now I'm just taking a blending brush and an Elizabeth Arden promotional palette and blending the two brown colors into my crease <laughs> And now I'm just taking one of my favorite mascaras, which is Bad Gal by Benefit. And I actually only have a couple of deluxe sample sizes of this, so I don't even have the full size. But I love this. It's so lengthening and volumizing, and it's seriously one of my favorites. The last thing I'm going to do for my eyes is put a black eyeliner on my waterline, and I find that this really defines my eyes. And of course you can't forget lips, so I am just putting on Smith's Rosebud Salve all over my lips and I absolutely love this, it tastes amazing. And I am putting on some of the Lip Luscious Black Cherry Lip Gloss. Now that my hair is out of its bun, I'm just trying to kind of straighten it out with my fingers, brush through it, and also the bobby pins that I just showed are probably the best bobby pins that I've ever tried in my life, they are from the dollar store. And one thing about my hair is that I can't brush through like all of my hair. I have to just brush through the ends or else it gets kind of a bit tangly and gross. And now I'm just doing my signature look which is just taking back the front pieces of my hair, twisting them and then pinning them to the back of my head for kind of like a Grecian kind of style look, especially because my hair is curly, it kind of gives off that vibe. Now I'm just securing the last couple pieces of hair and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this getting ready video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!